Hey everyone, this is Darren and Becky and we are the Barons. and today we're going to be doing some food reviewing. We are, we are. So we are going to be going to Aldi real quick to get some stuff to make some homemade. The sixth Aldi she's been to this week. This week. So, uh, we are going to go there and get the stuff to make homemade Chick-fil-A sauce, which will be kind of interesting. Because I was lucky enough to find the red bag. It's like the golden goose egg, like, but it's red. It's the red bag chicken breast fillets from Aldi that are yeah. imitators of the Chick-fil-A sandwich. And that's yeah. what we're going to do tonight. For sure. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Woo! Do they have any carts? I don't know. It's really busy, so we don't know what we're gonna find. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna go inside. So they're out of red bag chicken. They are, but they have the nuggets. Mmm, the nuggets. They got them nuggets. They're the breaded nugget shaped chicken breast patties with rib meat. Mm. So literally they're probably like the same thing. Mm, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. She's gonna grab some. But what else did we come here for? Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Let's go find Dijon mustard. Oh. Alright. So we are headed back. It is really windy and really cold. So we're gonna go um, go ahead and head back to the house, make this sauce, and see how it tastes. Tell us what we need in it. We need honey, yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and lemon juice. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and mix those up. Can you get me a fork, please? I sure can. I'm going to go with the honey first. Just leave that off. 
this. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be good, but you got to see this. Like, like, look at that. It just, you know, looks so appetizing. <laughs> <laughs>
Whenever you just eat the pickle off the sandwich. Yeah, they're good. I guess for this I won't, but. All right. Well, here we go. Ready? Mm hmm. Give it a shot. Chick-fil-A, you can't really go wrong. It has, it's weird, I've never thought of it this way before, but like, it has that same kind of texture to the meat, but you get when you get like a, like have you ever had a piece of KFC chicken but like the crusty, crunchy part is mm -hmm. gone off the outside. It's, it's like when you're just biting into the meat after the outside crunchy's gone. It's kind of like that same texture, different spices obviously, but it's good. I kind of want a fluffier bun. Oh, just you wait. That's what we're going to get with this. I know. I wish Chick-fil-A had fluffier buns. I think, yeah. I'm curious, why did you choose brioche? I didn't ask you that earlier. Because the Facebook group of Aldi nerds that I'm in recommended the brioche buns. We'll leave a link in the description of that page, because... Well... It's like a private page, so you gotta get accepted first. And if you shop at Aldi, it might. Yeah. So it'll, Shout there, out. there's a likelihood you'll get accepted. Yeah, I got accepted. Yeah, so overall. Chicken's a little dry. But they've been sitting a That's time. true. You gotta give them up. We, we got these. We don't have a Chick fil A really close to us, so we had to get these. All right, I need to stop. Because I got room for yeah. other stuff. Um, yeah, overall the bun is not anything super exciting. Mm -hmm. It is. I I'll give them this. I do see that it is. It has been toasted, but it's not like really crunchy toasted. Yeah. And any any of that crunchiness that you would get is kind of negated once they put it in the bag and it gets kind of like moistened yeah you want to try the nuggets too sure or do we we want to do the sandwiches then the nuggets let's make it sandwiches and then the nuggets okay let's do that all right <clears throat> so we're gonna put on pickles and mayo on this one i have to put on the pickles and the chick-fil-a the imitator yeah. Chick-fil-A sauce. Woo. Wow. I'm just saying those are pretty good pickles. That, that hits you in the nose. How many of two each? Mm -hmm. Two each, maybe? Well, Chick-fil-A usually puts three on theirs. Oh, is it three? Okay. Yeah. I am okay with putting three on there. Except I can go. I think only two is going to fit on my half sandwich, so. Alright. Trace pickles. And. So that's all the pickles we need. And then mayo. And you need this, right? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And. Spoon it. it. Mayo. I'm a little nervous. And it's been a while since I've had these chicken patties. So I'll be curious what my thoughts are. Because this is only the second time I've had them. This is my third. Third time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and so the lady at Aldi said that they get restocked every single day. Like, the whole store. 
I think I've gone every single day this week. <laughs> so I don't know how no. it's possible that one item can be out for like multiple days in a row. So, all right. Overall. Presentation like, looks nice. Look, that, that's a lot. It's better than it's, the... it's puffier and has more, I don't know, just looks better. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. It's a different taste, but it's definitely a better the, texture. I get the pickle. I didn't really get a big bite of the chicken that time. I got a lot of the pickle. Let's try that again. The spicy pickle adds a good flavor. I forgot. We have our little front of the close up cam here. So, that's what I've got. This was the Chick fil A sandwich. I know it looks so appetizing. And that's the Aldi, Aldi version. And these are the, the nugs. The Aldi nugs. And these are the Chick fil A nugs. So. is that Aldi, I think it was just fresher in terms of it was just made. And, but then again, the chicken is juicy. Mm -hmm. The Chick-fil-A one was not as juicy, but that could have also been because it's been sitting for a while and we had to microwave it. Um, the pickles were a lot thicker, which I like a thicker pickle on my sandwich. And the toasted bun was just puffier, lighter, added more of a texture of goodness. I think I like the the juiciness of the Aldi chicken breast versus Chick Fil A, but I also would say, and I don't, I'm not sure what it is exactly but the outside crust is like crunchier mm -hmm. along with the crunchiness of the toasted brioche bun but i think also too because that sat in the bag like in the with moisture so i don't Proof. know if that ruined the crunchiness of the chicken breast itself but I don't, I don't ever, the thing is, is I never remember eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich and being like, oh, that's crunchy. True. No, I haven't, I guess, either. Yeah. So, hmm. all right, well, great sandwiches, both, like, I definitely, I, I think also the spicy pickles are a great addition to, like, I, I think, honestly, if you took the spicy pickles, put them on the Chick-fil-A sandwich, it would be a really, really close tie. It would be. Because those, I think, add a little bit of that juiciness, too. Yeah. So. It soaks in more, I think. <laughs> All right. Let's drink a little water so we don't... We're on to the nuggets. All right. Nugget time, along with Chick-fil-A sauce. Which we're having the nuggets at our wedding. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> All right, so I'll grab four or five of those. All right. Ready, Freddie? Mm hmm. All right, 
So this is with the Chick-fil-A sauce and chicken nuggets, or their nuggets, I guess. I think a lot more of their seasoning comes through with their nuggets versus the sandwich. Yeah, I would agree. They're not as soft, but again, they've been sitting out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Their, their sauce is just magical sauce. It's weird because it almost adds a I don't know how you'd say it like a a creaminess to the yeah, it's taste a, of it. A little tang, a little creamy, a little sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I, I mean I I can't think of anything besides maybe a salad that you could put this stuff on that would make it go bad, like, or, like, turn it into a bad taste. Like, you can put it on fries, you can put it on your sandwich, you can put it on You want to try it on nuggets. nachos later? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've said anything <laughs> they serve. Uh, <laughs> probably not good on a shake. No. Mm -mm. I would not want that through a straw. No, thank you. Alright. Cool. Well, that was good. It was. Now we're on to the Aldi. Right. So I think I'll just one other comment. And this could just be because of sitting out a little bit. But they were slightly dry. They were. I would agree. But. Alright. Good deal. I don't think good deal. Oh. And to those of you who might be asking, don't worry. None of this food will go to waste. We have not eaten all of our sandwiches and stuff yet. We will eat them. Don't worry. So. Good deal. Also, if you like this video, Make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button below, as well as the notification bell, and come back and see what kind of adventures we on next week. Awesome. We post a video once every Monday. Also, what do you think of chicken nuggets on nachos? What do I think of it? Yeah. We cut up the chicken nuggets, the leftover chicken nuggets, and put them on nachos. I think I've had it before, and it's not bad. I, I it's not my like, not my go-to. Late night snacks. Okay. So you've had this? Did you? I had it on my sandwich. It's pretty good. Okay. I didn't get a whole lot. Okay. So I don't know what I was exactly tasting. All right. Well, I am going to make sure I get a healthy portion here and give it a shot. healthy portion is like three spoonfuls, so. So you can get a nice coating. There we go. Man, it is strong though. Whew. It's that mustard. Yeah, it is. All right. <clears throat> and I think overall, just gotta get some of that. I think overall I like the look of the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets better just because they kind of say to me like hey real chicken not formed into <coughs> you know nuggets like this. Well I'm pretty sure these are also fried and ours is ours were baked. Well I'm just saying the form factor. Well like, I have two. But all right let's give these a shot. Wow, I have 
not the taste I was expecting when I saw it. Wow. Hmm. It like has a really strong smell to it, but it's pretty mellow as far as taste. taste. Hmm. The nuggets from Chick Fil A, I would say, are a little better than the ones from Aldi, only because they have like a crunchier coating. But that also could be because they're fried. Ours are not. I'm, but it's just a different breading too. I'm gonna say too, like even though these ones are slightly juicier, the breading is like soggy, mm -hmm. and that's not a I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Also, did we bake it long enough? That's another question. Because mm -hmm. we baked them at a different temperature. True. All right. Um, I'm just going to eat the nuggets. That was pretty much it, it wasn't. Uh-huh. All right. I think my overall feeling of this, mm -hmm. Aldi definitely has a better chicken sandwich, per se, mm -hmm. and the bread and the pickles that make it delicious. But Chick-fil-A has a better nugget. Mm -hmm. So... I, I mean, that's not going to stop me from eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich, trust me. I'm going to be in the drive-thru Monday morning because they're closed on Sunday. Just kidding, I'm not going on Monday, but... I think, I think too, their, their, uh... The pickles add a lot to the sandwich. Mm hmm And... Yeah. I, I think, like... These chicken nuggets, they're chicken nuggets. I, I'm not gonna, like, and I, if I'm being honest, like, my first bite, I tasted a little bit of, like, the freezer taste, and you just don't get that with Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. Like, all their stuff, mm -hmm. they, they get it, they make it, like, it's not frozen, or I don't think it is. Uh, I might be wrong, but... Uh, so, all right. Well, closing thoughts, comments, concerns, life hacks. Hashtag, I'm going to eat all the chicken sandwiches tonight. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of chicken. Okay. So we're going to get our protein in for the day. Don't you worry. So, all you right. Want to do the chicken dance before we close out? <laughs> well, is that copyrighted? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we will, uh, we're gonna sign out then. We are, and maybe we will leave a link to the Chick-fil-A sauce, imitation Chick-fil-A sauce that I made tonight in the comments. Yeah. Um, we'll leave a description of the chicken breast fillets from Aldi. Good luck finding it at your store. If you find it, let me know. I will drive there to go get it myself. Um, yeah. Also, um, Patreon. You wanna? I don't, we have a Patreon page. Gets updated. So, yeah. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, Patreon, all YouTube. those. Yeah, YouTube. And once we hit 100 subscribers. Yeah, because we hit 67 this week. So, rock on. 33 more to go. And we'll do a giveaway. So, what it is could be a Chick Fil A gift card. Who knows? Uh, also, make sure you comment on this uh, video if you've ever had a Chick Fil A sandwich or nuggets. Do you like them? Do you like all these better? Have you ever tried all these? Let us know in the comments below. Love it. So, all right. All right. Till next time. Bye. Thank you.